You know, YouTube is kind of a strange place. I mean, you can find almost anything you want on YouTube, good or bad. Uh, a lot of people learn how to turn on the lathe on YouTube. I told my wife I was thinking about making YouTube videos. She kind of frowned at me and she said, Step one, when you're thinking about making a video about something for YouTube, is to go out to YouTube and see if somebody's already done it. If they have, you shouldn't do it. And that's, that's probably good advice. Um, but I haven't seen anybody make a stand-up comedy routine about wood turning on YouTube. Hey, thank you very much. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. So, you know, there's only two things that wood turners think about, right? I mean, whenever you're out in the shop, you've got something in your hands, there's only two things you're thinking about. Either it needs to be thinner or it needs to be sharpened. Am I right? I mean, if it's made out of wood, it needs to be thinner. If it's made out of metal, it needs to be sharpened. That's it. Everything's either got to be thinner or sharpened. So then what happens? Just to throw us off, a bunch of companies go out there and they start making these carbide tools, right? So their, their whole selling point is you never got to sharpen them, right? They put on this little carboid, carbide tip on here and what do you do? You take it, you use it for a long time, you rotate this thing around, get a fresh edge, and when the whole thing's spent, you throw it away, you buy another one. That's it, no sharpening. So what do we do as wood turners? Well, we get our first carbide tool, take it out of the package, inspect it like this. No sharpening, huh? What's going through our mind? I can sharpen this. In fact, I'm going to go make a YouTube video right now about how to sharpen this thing. Oh, and then there's the shavings, right? I mean, I'm shocked at how much shavings ends up on the lathe, on the floor, in my shirt pocket just for making a little bowl out of a small block of wood. In fact, I'm convinced that the miracle in the Bible about feeding the 5,000 with just a few loaves of bread must have involved a lathe. Hey, we don't got enough food for all these people. Oh, it's no problem. Just chuck up a loaf of rye on the lathe and we'll have plenty. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, sir. So they take a loaf of bread and they put it on their pole lathe. They didn't have electricity back then. And then you got the apostles there and they're stomping on that pedal to get that lathe going. Somebody's got their spindle gouge out there and suddenly they've turned all these loaves of bread into shavings and there's enough to feed everybody with plenty left over. So wood turning, at least for me, is a very hands-on process. I mean, my wife tells me that whenever I make a YouTube video that I spend a lot of time, like, touching the wood, you know? Patting it. She says, there's a lot of wood patting going on. But you can't, I mean, you gotta touch it, right? Wood turning, it's a very tactile process. You're touching it to feel for, I don't know, for tool marks and sanding and knots and whatever. You're, you're feeling it to figure out what's going on. Uh, you're constantly touching it. In fact, does anybody else do this? If I have if I ever make a bowl on the lathe, it seems like I spend the rest of the evening like just kind of holding the bowl and inspecting it, turning it over my hands, checking it out. I'll make a bowl in the afternoon, I'll spend the evening watching TV on the couch and uh, just holding the bowl, it, it kind of feels nice. In fact, I'm kind of glad I took up the wood turning aspect of woodworking and not something else like, say, furniture making. Hey, honey, I finally finished that oversized oak dresser you wanted for our bedroom. Man, that thing weighs a ton. Hey, can you come out here and help me bring it into the living room? I kind of want to just hold it on my lap while we watch Dancing with the Stars tonight. Okay, that's my time. Thanks for coming out, everybody, and we'll see you again next time.